Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the ninth series of uh, uh, the clinical research and uh, pharmacovigilance. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, important terminologies used in ADR and detection and reporting of adverse drug reactions. So, the important terminologies one is adverse drug reaction. It is an undesirable uh, response to a medication that occurs at doses normally used for treatment, prevention, and diagnosis. ADRs can range from mild to severe and might be dose dependent or idiosyncratic. Pharmacovigilance The signs and activities related to detection, assessment, understanding, and prevention of ADRs and other adverse effects of medications and medical products is called pharmacovigilance. Then, causality assessment The evaluation of likelihood of uh, that a specific drug caused a particular adverse event and it involves considering the temporal relationship, clinical plausibility, de challenge and re challenge, and exclusion of other possible causes. Then, severity assessment determining the extent of harm or impact caused by ADR on the patient's health is severity assessment. It categorizes the adverse events as mild, moderate, or severe based on the clinical manifestations, consequences, and the need for intervention. Preventability assessment Evaluating whether the adverse event could have been avoided or minimized through appropriate measures such as uh, better prescribing practices, monitoring and patient education is called preventability assessment. Then spontaneous reporting Voluntary submission of information about the suspected adverse drug reactions to regulatory authorities or designated organizations by healthcare professionals, patients, caregivers and pharmaceutical companies is called spontaneous reporting. <coughs> Signal detection The process of identifying potential uh, safety concerns or emerging patterns of adverse events uh, from large set of uh, ADR reports or other pharmacovigilance data is called signal uh, detection. Risk benefit assessment Evaluating the balance between the benefits and risks of a medication it considers the therapeutic effects of the drug versus potential harm caused by the adverse drug reactions. Next is drug labeling. The information provided by the pharmaceutical manufacturers on the packaging of the medication. It includes details about the drug indications, dosage, administration, contraindications, warnings, and potential ADRs. Then contraindication, a specific circumstance or medical condition in which the use of a particular medication is considered unsafe and should be avoided. Black box warning A prominent warning on a drug's label indicated by a black border highlighting uh, the serious risk is called black box warning. Idiosyncratic reaction An ADR that is unexpected occurring uh, in only a small subset of patients and not directly related to the known pharmacological effects of the drug is called a idiosyncratic reaction. MEDRA Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities It is a standardized terminology used in internationally uh, for the classification and coding of the medical product adverse uh, events associated with the medication. Next is uh, serious adverse events. An adverse event uh, that results in death, life-threatening situation, hospitalization, Persistent or significant disability or birth defects is called SAE. Then AE, AE reporting system, a database maintaining by maintained by the regulatory authorities such as FDA to collect and store the reports of ADR submitted by healthcare professionals, patients, and manufacturers. It is called adverse event reporting system. <laughs> Let us see the detection and uh, reporting of the ADRs. First, we will see the detection, uh, clinical observation, healthcare professionals including doctors, nurses and pharmacists should be vigilant for any unusual or unexpected uh, symptoms in patients receiving the medications. Changes in the health status, unexplained symptoms or worsening conditions could be indicative of an ADR. Then patient history, reviewing the patient's uh, medical history including uh, previous ADRs or allergies can help identify potential risk factors for adverse reactions to medications. 
நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் மானிட்டரிங் அண்ட் ஃபாலோ அப் ரெகுலர் மானிட்டரிங் ஆஃப் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் கிளினிக்கல் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் அண்ட் லெபார்டரி ரிசல்ட்ஸ் கேன் ஹெல்ப் டிடெக்ட் தி ஏடியாஸ் மானிட்டரிங் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் சச் அஸ் வைட்டல் சயின்ஸ் பிளட் டெஸ்ட் அண்ட் இமேஜிங் கேன் ப்ரொவைட் ஏர்லி இண்டிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அட்வர்ஸ் இஃபெக்ட்ஸ் பேஷண்ட் ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் என்கரேஜ் தி பேஷண்ட்ஸ் டு ரிப்போர்ட் எனி நியூ ஆர் அன்யூஷுவல் சிம்டம்ஸ் தே எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் வைல் டேக்கிங் தி மெடிகேஷன் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃபன் ஹாவ் வேல்யூபிள் இன்சைட்ஸ் இன் டு தேர் ஓன் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் மைட் நோட்டீஸ் சப்டில் சேஞ்சஸ் தட் தி ஹெல்த் கேர் ப்ரொஃபஷனல்ஸ் மைட் ஓவர் லுக் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் ஃபார்மகோ விஜிலன்ஸ் டேட்டா பேசஸ் யூட்டிலைஸ் தி ஃபார்மகோ விஜிலன்ஸ் டேட்டா பேசஸ் அண்ட் சிக்னல் டிடெக்ஷன் டூல்ஸ் டு ஐடென்டிஃபை தி பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் அட்வர்ஸ் ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் ரெகுலேட்டரி அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் ஹெல்த் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃபன் மெயின்டைன் சச் டேட்டா பேசஸ் ஃபார் ட்ராக்கிங் அண்ட் அனலைசிங் தி ஏடிஆர் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் லிட்ரேச்சர் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் ஸ்டே இன்ஃபார்ம்ட் அபவுட் தி லேட்டஸ்ட் ரிசர்ச் கிளினிக்கல் ட்ரையல்ஸ் and medical literature related to specific medications publications uh, might highlight uh, new or rare adverse eff- uh, effects that have been identified then reporting of adrs uh, determine the casualty uh, before reporting an adr consider whether the adverse event is uh, likely uh, related to the medication evaluate the factors such as temporal relationship de challenge and re challenge and alternative explanations then select appropriate uh, reporting system different countries and regions have specific reporting systems for adrs identify the relevant regulatory agency responsible for pharmaco vigilance and use their designated reporting platform or mechanism then gather the information collect the comprehensive information about the patient the medication and the adverse event and any relevant medical history accurate and detailed information is crucial for effective analysis complete uh, reporting forms if reporting online fill out the required forms uh, with accurate and uh, complete information some forms uh, might have sections for uh, patient demographics uh, drug details adverse event uh, description and clinical outcomes and then confidentiality uh, ensure uh, the patient confidentiality while reporting personal identifying information should be kept secure and not shared in the adr reports submit the report submit the adr report uh, through the appropriate uh, reporting channel this might involve uh, filling out the online forms sending the emails or using a specific reporting software then follow up uh, some reporting systems uh, provide a reference number or acknowledgement of the received keep track of the reports uh, progress and any follow up uh, communication uh, from the regulatory agency then document uh, locally keep your record of uh, adr report uh, in your local records for your own reference and documentation so it's a very short information of uh, the uh, reporting of uh, adrs and their uh, detection i hope uh, it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel Uh, if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance and uh, score well in the forthcoming exams